good evening students am i audible yes ma'am The screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yesterday we discussed and program. Now, how many of you executed and got the result? Which program we discussed in the previous class yesterday? Linear search. Which logic we discussed? How many of you executed the program and got the result? So in yesterday's class we discussed linear search, no? Yes, ma'am. Linear search. So this is the pseudo code and the linear search algorithm. Main program and the searching uh, function. And the function is called in the main program. So the same program, we can do it uh, using recursive method also. All of you joined? So uh, inform your student classmates if anybody joined in Google Meet to join. Okay, the screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. So the same linear search algorithm, we can use uh, recursive function also. So previously we used one main program or function. Here we are going to implement the linear search using recursive function. So we are having hash include iostream.h using name space std. Then we are writing a recursive linear search. So the linear search function takes the array the size of the array and searching element. Then we have the main program. So in the main program, we are declaring the size of the array, index variable i, searching element key, list of array, and array and position of the searching element, if the element is found. So here, so the main program, uh, enter the number of elements, size of the array is received. But for i equal to 0 to i less than n, i plus plus, we are reading all the array elements. Then we are getting the, enter the key to be search, C in key. Then we are calling recursive linear search. So for the linear search function, we are pausing the list, size of the array and the searching element. So when the control is passed to the int recursive linear search here. So within the function, we are calling the same function. 
guilt triggers you linear search again we are calling the same function return trigger recursive linear search whatever uh, the key element we found the size of the array is paused again it will search for the remaining elements so here within the function if n is less than or equal to 0 when there are elements in the array return minus 1 so if uh, n is less than or equal to 0 if there are no elements in the array zero elements or less than zero elements then we cannot uh, repeat the process if there are still elements to be compared with the array then only we can continue with the searching process if list of n double equal to key so the uh, uh, we are uh, starting from list of n the last element to the first element the element is compared with the last element and if both are same return n so the searching element is found else call the recursive function with the same array n minus 1 elements and key, uh, key of searching key. So the process, uh, the function will be called for n elements, n minus 1 elements, n minus 2 elements, n minus 3 until the complete list of array. So within the function, we are calling the same function. So it is a recursive function. So the searching, if the searching element is found, it will return the value to POS. So the function will integer return value will be assigned to pos and it will display if pos is found it will say the element is not found if found it will display the element is found in the particular index position so you try both the linear search algorithm using non-recursive and recursive functions In yesterday's class, we were talking about what is algorithm, what is data structure, what are all the algorithms available. Now we will uh, discuss what is algorithm design. So you know very well design means a diagrammatic representation of your algorithmic step or for the given problem which kind of algorithm we can apply to get the solution or designing our own algorithm to find out the solution for the given problem. So what is algorithm design means? It refers to the process of defining a step-by-step -step solution to the problem. It involves creating a procedure or set of rules to solve a specific problem in finite amount of time. So we have to find out the solution for any given problem with the subject to the condition within the given stipulated time. The yeah, good algorithm design is crucial for efficient problem solving in computer science and other disciplines. So what are all the steps in algorithm design means? So for problem definition, so define the given problem, clearly understand and define the problem. Algorithm specification, formulate the steps or rules needed to solve the problem. Algorithm analysis, evaluate the efficiency of and the correctness of the algorithm what you choose in for the given problem. So whatever may be the problem, say find out the factorial or the swap the given two numbers or create and stack, push and pop the elements, create and queue, add and delete the elements or create and linked list to represent and circularly linked list or create and graph and perform the traversal, tree traversal in order, pre-order and post-order. So like a data structure related problems or any real-time problem. First we have to define and understand what is the given problem. Create and form a, a problem statement. Then uh, check for the availability of solution as well as which kind of algorithm we can apply to get the efficient solution. So there will be a number of methods to get the solution. It may be algorithmic technique or it may be formula based technique or it may be graph based technique or um, tabulation methods or divide and contour methods or greedy algorithms. So there will be a number of solutions available for the given problem already existing. So if there are a number of solutions available from the available feasible solution, identify the optimal solution. Then uh, how to check whether the solution method or algorithm what we chosen for the given problem is efficient one that in terms of time and space. 
and accuracy. Then implementation, write the code to implement the algorithm, testing and debugging. So once the, once the algorithm analysis is over, then you have to write the code implementation, then testing and debugging, verify that the algorithm works correctly and efficiently. Optimization, improve the algorithm to enhance the performance. So once the program is written, you have to test the program, whether it's working perfectly or not, and the efficiency is correct. Accuracy, usability, all those things are there. Then if the problem is taking for one minute and it occupies one MB of memory space, you can look for alternative solutions, which can reduce the memory space and which takes lesser than lesser time as well as lesser memory space. So any doubt what is algorithm design? So yesterday itself I told all of you rename registration number followed by your name. Bag Bagish, Mishra, Anishka Singh, Abhishek, Dilip Kumar, mention your USN followed by name. Same, Gaurav Ch Choudhury, Karan Singh. Now, Dubey, South, Sambit, Mahabhadra, Shreya, Shreyansh, Jain, Anish, Vansh, So you mention your USN, then name. Abhishek. Yes, ma'am. Display name, you change it to your registration number followed by your name. Okay, ma'am. Agish Mishra. Dilip Kumar. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So any doubt with respect to algorithm design? Say for example, how we can design an algorithm for bubble sort. So we were talking about uh, linear search. The same way, if the given input is in unordered form, we can uh, order the given elements in an ordered form using bubble sort. So, so uh, say for example, sorting an array using a bubble sort. What do you mean by bubble sort? Any idea? Linear sort means one by one. First two elements will be compared. The biggest one, uh, if the first one is more biggest, second one is smallest, then they will swap. So that, so the first number is compared with all other numbers. So that the first smallest number is found and it is placed. So in that way, we will do linear sort or sequential sort. Then binary sort means the given list is sorted first. Then we will divide the given list into two of first half and second half. In that way, we will do the sorting as well as searching binary divide divide into two of. Then what is the logic behind bubble sort? Anyone? What is bubble sort? So the bubble sort, because algorithm and data structures is, is a very old uh, subject, more than 60, 70 years old. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, so it's a very old subject. So the bubble sort means the literal meaning behind the bubble sort. Say, for example, if there is a bell or pond, if you throw a stone, it will create a bubble. So it will take some time. Once the bubble settle down, we can find a clear. Uh, so the uh, heavy particles will settle down in the bottom. 
and smallest one will come up. So like that, we will be given a list of n numbers. We will bubble and we will try to make the smallest one comes up and the biggest one goes down. So the sorting, uh, the problem is sort an array of integers in ascending order using bubble sort. So here, what is the logic behind bubble sort means? Algorithm is start with the first element of the array, compare the current element with the next element. If the current element is greater than the next element, swap them. So the smallest one will come first. Move the next element to the element and repeat step two and step three until the end of the array is reached. So the first number is compared with the second one. Again, second number is compared with the third one. Third one is compared with the fourth one. So like that, the alternative numbers will be compared with the next number, next number, next number. So in the at the first round, um, the first smallest number will come to the first position. So until if you repeat the process for n numbers, n iterations, uh, first, first iteration, first smallest will one will reach the first position. Second smallest is placed in the second position. Third smallest, third position. Until the end of the array is reached. Repeat step four to five, one to four for all elements in the array. End when no more swaps are needed in an complete pass through the array. So this is the logic behind bubble sort. So how we can represent the logic using pseudo code means? So the function is, function or procedure is bubble sort. So the function name is mentioned, procedure bubble sort. So the function takes array and list of integers. So n is length of the array, n equal to length of the array. For i equal to 0, i to n minus 1, do. For j equal to 0, do. n minus i minus 2. So it means the for when i equal to 0, j will be uh, the second number j equal to 0 to n minus i minus 2. So the first a of j is compa uh, compared with the a of j plus 1. So the say j equal to 0 and j plus 1 is equal to 1. A array of 0 is less than, greater than or equal to greater than array of 1 then swap. So array of 0 is greater, array of 1 is small, then the smallest one comes first and the greatest one goes second. So a of 0 greater than a of 1. So 1 is smallest, index position 1 is smallest. So that is swapped with the index position 0. So we will repeat the process. So we are using two for loops. For i equal to 0, n minus 1. For j equal to 0, n minus i. So here, uh, n minus 0 minus 2. So the process will be first number is compared with remaining all other numbers. Again, uh, when i equal to 1, the second number is compared with all the remaining elements in the array. When i equal to 3, the third number is or fourth number is compared with the remaining elements. So through comparison and swapping, we are identifying, uh, ordering the elements. Say for example, uh, for execution given array is 5, 3, 8, 4, 2. So what we will do? Compare the 5 with the 3. So 3 is small, 5 is greater, swap. 3 comes first, 5 goes second. In the first pass, when five, then 5 is compared with the next element. The second one is compared with third one. This is small, this is greater, we are leaving. Again, third number 8 is compared with the next one. 4 is small, 8 is greater, 4 is coming first, 8 is going next. Then 8 is compared with the next element. 2 is small, 8 is greater, so both are swapped. So when i equal to j equal to 0, i equal to 0. Then the i equal to 1, j equal to 0, these iterations. Here 3 is compared with 5. So 3 is small, we are leaving it. Then 3 is compared with 4. 4 is, uh, then 5 is compared with 4. 4 is small, then swapped. Then 5 is com uh, compared with 2. 2 is small, it is swapped. During the third pass, when uh, j equal to 2, 3 and 4 is compared. So 3 is placed in the correct position. 4 and 2 is compared. 2 is placed. And 4 and uh, 5 is compared. No swapping. 
and 5 and 8 is compared. Again, 3 and 2 is compared, 2 is small. In that way, we are processing until the array is sorted. So, we are using two for loops, i, j, i equal to 0, j equal to 0. So, any doubt in the logic, how the bubble sort is, how bubble sort is performed? So, it is also sorting the numbers, but using bubble sort. So, the pseudo code for bubble sort is this. Okay, take all of you, your laptop is on. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, write a C++ program to sort the given numbers using bubble sort. Open a folder. In that folder, save all the programs. Lab programs as well as other exercise programs. Based on the logic, initialize the variables. Perform the task. Already we did one program, C++ program. Same program uh, statements. Only main program is enough or you can use main program as well as main function. All of you complete the program and show me the answers. Write a C++ program to sort the given numbers. To sort the given 10 of 10 numbers using bubble sort. Using bubble sort algorithm. How many of you switch it on your laptops? So you know other way it is a lab uh, lab based subject. So parallel you have to do the lab programs. Then only you will remember logic. Otherwise, just your name only will be knowing. How many of you switched on your laptop? Okay, switch on your uh, video and show me the laptops. How many of you completed the program? Bubble sort. Why you are traveling? All are at home, huh? Okay, those who completed, uh, um, unmute and open your uh, video and show me the program. I like to see how many of you using laptop, how many of you doing the program.
how many of you completed programs? So I told you now you are maintaining an observation. So uh, in that, the linear search and uh, using recursive non recursive function, programs should be written. And the uh, second half of the same observation mode, write the bubble sort algorithm, and write down the program for bubble sort. And do array of 10 numbers in unordered form to check whether the bubble sort is sorting. In C++, you can debug also. So debug step, compile run, or compile debug run, or step trace, so that you can know in each step how the function is, which functions are executed, how, how the numbers are sorting. So any doubt with respect to bubble sort, the logic? Any doubt? Arsh Kumar, Tanish. So next is what topic is called complexity. So you know very well complexity means Sam. yes. And the code that you have given, uh, it is a pseudo code. We have to build a code upon this, upon based on that. Yeah, only it is only logic. So the same steps convert to programming statements. Include hash, include iostream dot h, namespace using std, then declare the function into bubble sort yeah. array. Array A and a list, a list of integers, same size of the array. Array A of A array, comma, number of elements in the array, size of the array N, comma, only array and size of the array, just to sorting, no searching. Then, uh, int main, within main program, declare all the variables, int i, comma, j, comma, N, Array of n, everything, all our integers. And you need to declare one more function, swap function. So it is only logic. Then c in, enter the number of elements. Then c in n. Then c out, enter number of, enter number of elements. Then c in, read a of i using for loop. Read all the so if you are giving n equal to 10, read uh, using for i equal to 0, i less than 10, i plus plus, c in array of i. Read all the 10 numbers. So I'll give in the numbers, give in on sorted form. 5, 7, 1, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, like that. Then call the function bubble sort. You declare or define the function inside the main program or you declare, define the function outside the main program. Then in the bubble sort, the array will be paused and the number of integers, list of integer values will be paused. A, A array and A, all the numbers, the array will be paused. Then in the function, use the formal variables and actual variables and do this process n equal to length of array for i equal to 0 i less uh, for i equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 for j equal to 0 j less than n minus i minus 2 j plus plus then within the if a array of j greater than array of j plus 1 then call the swap function Swap of A of J comma J array of J plus one. So this uh, within within the subsection of if swap will be called until the condition is true, this process will be complete uh, executed. 
then for loop uh, opening and closing i loop uh, opening and closing return the sorted array so the zoom will be active for another 10 minutes once again you join to the same link how other faculties are taking class using uh, ms team or uh, google meet in recording then google meet it's not available in google meet no okay our next topic is called complexity so complexity means there is some um, the program is somewhat uh, tedious in general complex numbers means uh, we'll have whole part as well as uh, i part the same way complex means the problem is somewhat complicated we have to solve the problem the same way while performing any writing any program we have to check whether the solution what we created for the given problem is simple problem or complicated problem or complex one in terms of time complexity and space complexity and the efficiency aspects so what is algorithmic complexity means it refers to the computational resources required by an algorithm to run which is typically measured in terms of time so how much time the program takes if you are using that particular algorithm to solve the problem that is called time complexity and space complexity understanding the complexity helps in evaluating the efficiency and scalability of the algorithm so if you are for the sorting algorithm uh, bubble sort if you are giving 10 numbers how much time it takes if you are giving 100 numbers how much time if you are giving 1000 numbers whether the pro sub program supports accepts the input or not and how much time it takes so whether the if the input increase data size increase or data set increases the time complexity increases or decreases as well as the space complexity how much space it occupies if you are using dynamic memory allocation or static memory allocation or fixed arrays or varying size arrays or in general the number of executable lines in the program how much space it occupies so that is called time complexity and space complexity so what is time complexity means it represents the amount of time an algorithm takes to complete an function of the length of the input expressed using big o notation so we we'll call it as big o of so every uh, declaration statement takes one uh, one second depending upon the uh, say every computer is having its own few heads whether it works in 20 gigahertz or 18.7 gigahertz so that the number of cycles per second how much uh, time uh, say every process is done in terms of uh, pulses on state off state on state off state zero uh, zero on and off because the machine is performing in the binary format so if you take the pulses how many pulses or if you take the prefetch fetch execute and return back so to execute an instruction, the CPU needs some time. Free fetch, fetch, execute, and return the result back. So whether it is a parallel processing or nowadays all the processes are parallel processes or a pentacore, octacore. So even in parallel processing also, for each and every instruction, there will be fetch, free fetch, free fetch, fetch, execute, and return back. Store and return back. So based on that, uh, that pulse cycle it is called order of every assignment statement if you study in microprocessors and uh, mnemonics microprocessor instructions uh, they will say uh, two byte instruction one byte instruction four byte instructions depending upon the size of the whether it is arithmetic operation or a declaration path or assignment process or switch process store process execute process so based on those parameters, um, the uh, time complexity is calculated. So order of one means the particular instruction takes order of one or order of f of n or log n or log um, one by log n or log n or um, order of n by log n. 
or order of n log n order of n square order of n to the power of 2 2n 2 2 factorial n like that uh, the complexity of each and every algorithm differs the time taken to execute uh, complete the pro program may be order of 1 or order of n or n log n for if there are n numbers n log n the same way space complexity means it represents the amount of memory an algorithm uses as a function of the length of the input is processed it includes both the space needed for input data as well as accelerated spaces temporary spaces used by, during the computation expressed using big o notation so this o is called big o notation so any doubt what is the time complexity and space complexity Say for example, uh, say you Excuse are. Me. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Say for example, in the to the same bubble sort, if your input size is ten thousand numbers or fifty thousand or uh, one lakh numbers, and uh, based on the efficiency of the machine also, so whether you are using um, Pentium machine or Pentium four machine or octa core, penta core machine or parallel processors. Depending upon that, the efficiency, that uh, or uh, number of um, computations per second, and uh, how much that uh, we'll have now. It works in uh, 1.5 gigahertz. The uh, number of pulses generated. So, say in machine A, in insertion sort, uh, it takes if the algorithm used is insertion sort, the big O notation. Uh, Time complexities for n numbers. If the numbers numbers is a ten uh, ten thousand uh, inputs are given, two n square divided by ten to the power of nine. So for insertion sort in machine game. So in that case, the time needed to execute this particular algorithm is zero point two zero. In another machine, some other machine may be Android machine or Apple iPhone or laptop or an iPad with a different uh, configuration. So there it takes for merge sort. The merge sort uh, time complexity is fifty n log n. Into the power of seven. So here it takes zero point six six. Like that. But the thing is, I have efficient complexity. It looks like starting the day from my part. But for now, let's efficient and uh, gladly I pass that exam. If you want me to create a video about that, sir, I'd get and hello everyone. This is Josh, and as you might know, I'm an AI engineer at Google. And today is going to be a different kind of a video. I'm going to uh, shoot hey, the vlog kind of a day in my okay. The it will end by another one minute. All of you join once again in the same link. So, like that, the efficiency uh, for, for each uh, method for much sort. The time complexity is 50 n log n for insertion sort it is 2 n square divided by n so based on the time complexity for the given input the time required to complete the project or program differs okay so all of you join once again